2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valero Texas Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam, and this player starts their round in the lead. How should they approach today? It's right now the game plan is working, but they still have to go out there and play off the front foot, play on offense, and not worry about who's chasing them. Oh, I'm fired up too, Rich. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Wonderfully played. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up from about 100 yards. Had a fantastic drive. Man, not a bad shot, that one. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill. Bit of extra juice needed. Ah, that's frustrating. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Well, that's a no-fuss par to get the round underway, Rich. Nothing wrong with an opening part, just easing their way into this round. He sits in first position. Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee. Straight away for the most part, but there's a lot of danger both right and left here. The fairway bunkers down the left-hand side shouldn't really cause an issue. However, the second shots, the layup zone, there is a deep bunker on the right-hand side that could be brought into play. The third shot is to a green perched well above the fairway, and it's actually a double green. This green is also part of the seventh green. That's tidy. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. The interesting choice of the driver here. From the sand, are they able to get up and down? Setting up from the first cut here in the green. They could hold it from here. Didn't that look good for a long time? Thirteen feet to the hole. This is what they have left for par here. Never up, never in, as they say, Rich. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Time to check in with Lydia Ko. Fantastic touch on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. Here we are at the third. The tea is yours. 
you really hope that the wind is not blowing into your face on this tee shot and making it that much more difficult and longer. This green is perched up high. There's runoffs all around the left-hand side and the back portion of it, and obviously you want no part of coming up short. Players that find this green will find it difficult to two-putt as there's lots of humps and bumps and swales in it. Good putters will make these right on five feet. Seems to be some sort of a mission he's on today. Setting the tone early in this round. Now at 11 under for the event. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That tee shot looks pretty good. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Sitting up here from about 155. Over 300 yards from the tee as well. Well, that's well played and a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the fourth. Seven feet to the cup. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Well, look who's getting on a roll now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Now over to Colin Morikawa. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that one just missed the hole. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Second shot here on the fifth. Handy effort, that one. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. Just building upon his advantage. He keeps making the important plays. Trying to make a statement early and often. Still in the lead now after that hole. I love a good two-shotter. Birdies on par fours feel great because you've had to execute all three shots. Players must find the fairway, avoiding that bunker down the right-hand side, but from there, second shot is up the hill to a green that runs away from the players ever so slightly, but still going in with a short iron into this par four, a birdie is definitely makeable. Pretty good shot there. Second shot here on the sixth. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. 
They've held it. That'll be for birdie. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. So far, so good. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Here we are in front of a par three. Opting for the five wood. Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. They nicely hold. Now let's switch our focus to Colin Morikawa. Getting ready to play their third. Ah, oh, what a shot from the bunker. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Out a boy. Good shot. That'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Ah, bit untidy, wasn't it? Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. Oh, no. This is nasty. Just no. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Just a little off with the accuracy there, unable to find the green. Now from that lie, missing the green was always an option. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Just didn't drop. This is a bogey putt coming up. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. Yeah, I can understand he'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. 
Not a single bunker on this hole. Tee shot is fairly straightforward. Just hit it straight, find the center of the fairway. The second shot, however, gets a little interesting as this green is very deep, not very wide. Big runoff areas on both sides of this green. A par here is a solid number. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 165 yards. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Great touch, really nicely played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And back to the play, shall we? This would be a great up and down. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Well done, that takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out, but so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Now, well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. from about 100 yards. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Oh, what a great stroke. That's a big time putt, that one. And their rival knows it too. They heard the cheers. Currently 14 under for the event. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Tee shots must be placed on the left-hand side to get the best view and angle for their second shots as this screen sits below the player and moves from left to right. Tee shots down the right might be closer, but it's going to leave a second shot over a deep bunker and making it that much more difficult to get close. Around 110 yards to go. Left yourself an opportunity. Birdie at the last. This for another. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 23 feet from the cup. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Well, that's a bit disappointing. It's just about three feet away. You don't want to miss these. This is what they have left for par. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. It's time to begin this powerful hole.
This looks to be a fair way seeker to me. From about 130 yards here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. You liked that, didn't you? Oh, good look at Birdie here. This has a real chance. Was well, that a good line? Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Now over to Colin Morikawa. And what are we looking at here, Henny? You're going to need one or two clubs more because this green is sitting up. That could play. Oh, right by the hole. That is absolutely brilliant. Got to say, I can't see them not making birdie here, Luke. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Not bad. And he's down there. You got a read? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. That's a good putt to make. That sets the great players from the good ones. He's currently sitting in first place. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Oh, that was pure. Second shot here on the 14th. Oh, always like it when they take the big dog and let it rip from the middle of the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Is about 14 feet to the hole. Looking for another birdie here. Oh, just missed. Big putt for par coming up. Our work here is done. Let's head to the next hole. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. Oh, went from the outhouse to the penthouse with that chip in. Teeing off here at the 15th hole.
This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. And what's in front of them there, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. Game of the seven. This is one of those great ball striking displays. Fairways and greens, a pleasure to watch. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Ooh. This is a par putt. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately having to settle for par. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Only one other place I can think of, and that is the sixth at Riviera. A larger green than the sixth, but bunkers galore. Watch out for the one right in the middle. Good shot there. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Looking great now. Ooh, you like me and thought that had a chance. Job done. Let's head to the next. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? That was a gallant attempt. That's disappointing. And after that effort, that's how it looks. You've arrived at a par four. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Great looking shot this. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Justin Thomas, who? He looks like he's having an absolute blast out there today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. Lining up the birdie putt here. Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. Coming off a bogey on the last hole, well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Oh, so close. Oh, that's too bad. So after that effort, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. It's time to tee off on the 18th hole. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway.
Oh, well played. Getting ready to play their third. Eight feet to the cut. Don't mind the look of this. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. Well, that's some pretty tidy work through two rounds, Rich. Has opened up a huge buffer over the field. I don't think I've seen two rounds.